What's going on guys? I'm doing a video today on Beamer code and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to code in the tire temperatures inside of your BMW. Now with most modern BMWs, you can actually display the tire temperatures along with the tire pressures, which is really cool. But in most cases, it's actually not on by default. You have to code it and turn it on. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that. So a few prerequisites, you are going to need the Beamer code app and you are going to need a Bluetooth adapter. For me, I'm using the one from VPeak. This is the adapter that I've been using for pretty much years. As long as I had my first BMW, I bought the this one and it's never let me down. There is a link in the description for one of these. This is the one I highly, highly recommend. I'm gonna plug this into the car in the OBD2 adapter and then I'm gonna show you on the phone in Beamer code kind of step-by-step -step how to get the temperature to show on your BMW iDrive. So let me show you guys what it's gonna look like on the screen. So when you look on iDrive, this is actually how it's going to show. Now I'm going to code this feature out and then I'm gonna show you guys how to code this feature in because mine's already on obviously. So I'm gonna show you how to turn it off and then how to turn it on. All right, we are going to open up the Beamer Code app, perform update. No, I'm gonna skip that for now and just hit connect. VPeak OBD adapter, this is the one. If you have other ones, this is where you would select which one you wanna use. We're gonna connect. And I'm gonna cut out all these loading times so you guys aren't gonna see the loading times. Select your car for me, BMW 2 Series M2. Now that we've made it to this screen, we're going to scroll down to head unit. That's basically going to show all the options related to the dash and the iDrive. Once you made it to this screen, a lot of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to scroll down until you find tire pressure control. And here, this is pretty self-explanatory from this point. Display pressure only, not active, or display temperature and pressure. For the purpose of coding it out, let me show you guys what it's gonna look like if I do display pressure only. And then I'm gonna show you how to actually code it in. We're gonna activate that and we're gonna back out and hit code. And then you're going to hit start coding restarting ECU so your entire system is basically going to restart in your car your iDrive is going to restart so now let me show you by flipping the camera around what is on the iDrive there you go so now it shows you what you typically would only see inside your car so it shows you all your tire pressures and then now let me do the other process to actually code in the tire temperatures so we're going to connect one more time to our car via the app select BMW M2 once again and then all all this stuff I'm gonna pretty much skip. Now that we're in here, once again, scroll down to head unit. Now that we're in the head unit, we're gonna scroll down to tire pressure control. And now from display pressure only, we're gonna go to display temperature and pressure. Hit the back button once, and then at the top right, hit code and that's pretty much it so now if I flip the camera around so now it'll show your pressures and your temperatures right now we're standing still I have to actually drive around in order to get the initial reading so that's why it doesn't show any actual temperatures or pressures so that's really it guys that's how you code with Beamer code the tire temperatures inside your BMW again you do need a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter the one I recommend like I said before is VPeak I do have a link in the description to the exact one that I have there are other options out there if you're interested but that's the one that i personally would go with and that's gonna be it for this one guys if you like this video leave it a like leave me comments if you've coded this in your car if you like the feature if you don't if you find it useful let me know and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos as i'm like right on the cusp of having 1,000 subscribers i only have like 60 or 50 to go would be really appreciated that's gonna be it for this one guys so thank you so so much for watching until next time